shutter shock, rolling shutter, luminance variations and bending. For most photographers, those are major issues and often hard to overcome in practice. But for a skilled photographer working with the OM system OM1, such problems do not exist. Thanks to a state-of-the-art shutter system and dedicated assist functions, the OM1 is able to always get the shot under any circumstances. Let me show you how. My name is Thomas Eisel. I'm a professional photographer from Vienna, Austria. Lenses, autofocus, ISO settings and post-processing. We photographers obsess over many things. But one of the most crucial features of our cameras is often overlooked, the shutter. In practice, however, having a fundamental understanding of the shutter system is not just nice to know, it is essential. This is why this expert guide will cover everything from shutter types to sensor readout speed. On top of that, I will share my infallible on-location routine for dealing with flickering light sources. Let's get started. By default, the OM-1 uses a high-speed focal plane shutter. The durable shutter unit of the OM-1 is rated for 400,000 actuations and it uses two curtains moving vertically to control the exposure. Here is how the shutter operates in practice. The maximum mechanical shutter speed the OM-1 is able to achieve is 1 8,000th of a second and the flash sync speed when using mechanical shutter is 1 250th of a second. The mechanical shutter is the number one choice for all difficult situations. It is in many ways the foolproof setting, it just cannot fail. You should definitely use the mechanical shutter for flash photography, very fast moving subjects and when dealing with flickering lights. The electronic shutter is also called silent shutter in the OM1's menus. This mode uses no physical shutter curtains. Instead, the exposure is controlled electronically. The OM1's electronic shutter operates completely vibration-free as there are no physical components moving around during the exposure. It is also silent. The maximum shutter speed when using the electronic shutter is higher compared to mechanical. Shutter speeds of up to 1 32,000th of a second are possible. The flash sync speed in this mode is, however, lower. Only 1 100th of a second is possible or 1 50th of a second when you are using an ISO setting of 16,000 or higher. I recommend using the electronic shutter for general purpose photography, but especially for vibration sensitive scenarios like macro photography and telephoto photography, especially when you are using very long lenses. You should avoid using the electronic shutter when you are dealing with flickering light sources or very, very fast moving subjects. Apart from silent mode, the electronic shutter is also active when using Pro Capture, high res shot, focus bracketing, focus stacking, Live ND and HDR. In the OM-1, electronic first curtain shutter is called anti-shock shutter. In this mode, the camera electronically starts the exposure but uses a mechanical second curtain to end it. When anti-shock shutter is selected, the OM-1 can use shutter speeds of up to 1 8,000th of a second. Keep in mind that at 
one three hundred and twentieth of a second, the OM1 automatically switches from electronic first curtain to mechanical shutter. And this is great because it avoids many problems that other cameras have when using electronic first curtain shutter. There can be distortions of the bouquet in the background and so on and so forth. So the switch that the OM-1 makes at 1 320th of a second has no disadvantage at all. As shutter speeds higher than 1 320th of a second won't give you any shutter shock at all. So on to flash sync. Flash sync when using electronic first curtain shutter is limited to 1 250th of a second. So in many ways Electronic first curtain shutter is the best of both worlds. Like electronic shutter, it is vibration free. And like mechanical shutter, it has no issues dealing with flickering lights and fast moving subjects. The silent shutter has to be enabled in the menu. Go to menu, then select camera menu 1 and go to 7 drive modes there you can select the anti-shock settings. You just have to turn it on. Now that it is turned on, when you go to the drive mode selection, you will see that the standard mechanical shutter was replaced with anti-shock single and anti-shock sequential. The OM1's sensor has a readout speed of around 1 120th of a second. This brings the OM1 on the same level as top of the line cinema cameras for professional movie productions. So rolling shutter is therefore negligible. Only very rarely it is visible when you are photographing extremely fast moving subjects with electronic shutter. The workaround is pretty easy. You can just use the mechanical shutter or electronic first curtain shutter instead. Flickering light sources like LEDs and fluorescent lights can cause two different effects. The first effect appears when you are shooting under slow flickering light sources. Those can cause luminance variations from frame to frame, regardless of which shutter type you are using. The second effect is almost exclusively observable when working with the electronic shutter. Fast flickering light sources can cause luminance banding effects in each frame. With the OM-1, dealing with banding and luminance variation is very easy. The camera has many powerful features for that. Let's start with a very basic yet effective tip. If you encounter luminance banding, use mechanical or electronic first curtain shutter instead of electronic shutter. This practically eliminates the risk of banding. When working under artificial light sources, setting the correct shutter speed is very important. When you are facing frame-to-frame -frame luminance variation, I recommend setting a shutter speed that is a multiple of the local power grid frequency. Depending on where you live, you are either dealing with a 50 Hz or a 60 Hz frequency. This means you should set at least 1 50th or 1 60th of a second. If you are encountering luminance banding in each frame, you are most likely using the electronic shutter. And if you want to stick with the electronic shutter and don't want to switch to mechanical or electronic first curtain, then you should just set a shutter speed that is at least 1 100th of a second or slower. When you are using ISO 16000 or higher, set a shutter speed of at least 1 50th of a second. 
When anti-flicker shooting is active, the OM-1 will retime its shutter to mitigate the effect of flickering light sources. This function works for all shutter modes and it eliminates frame-to-frame -frame luminance variations very effectively. In order to enable anti-flicker shooting, go to the menu, camera menu 1, go to 7, drive mode. There you find anti-flicker shooting. Just select on. In live view, the three letters FLK indicate that anti-flicker shooting is active. Anti-flicker shooting cannot eliminate banding, but it makes the effect more consistent by synchronizing with the power frequency. The banding therefore appears at the same position in each frame. So if you have to use the electronic shutter and high shutter speeds, this is a viable option. For example, if you are using an ISO setting lower than 16,000 and working with a light source that is flickering at 100 to 120 Hertz, the OM-1 will produce one luminance band per frame. And as it places this luminance band at exactly the same position in each frame, the results can be quite good, although there is this one flicker band in there. Take a look. Flicker scan only works for the electronic shutter. It allows for setting an optimal shutter speed to eliminate or reduce the luminance bending in each frame. In order to utilize flicker scan, it has to be assigned to a function button. I assigned it to the record button for this demonstration. When flicker scan is activated, I can set the shutter speed in large increments by utilizing the front dial and in small increments utilizing the rear dial. Once I don't see any flicker anymore on the screen, I can press the flicker scan button once more. Now I can take the photographs at the set shutter speed. When I want to go back to regular shutter speeds, I just have to hold down the flicker scan button and I'm back to the regular shutter speed increments. In order to switch back to the set shutter speed, just press the flicker scan button twice. Here is my on-location routine when working with problematic light sources. If feasible, I use a flash, so basically I'm replacing the problematic light source. If I cannot use a flash, here is what I do instead. I start by setting the shutter type and preferably I use mechanical shutter as it gets rid of almost any problems immediately. Then I set the camera either to shutter priority or manual mode, so I can control the shutter speed. When photographing, I lock the exposure parameters to counter disturbances of the light meter caused by the flickering light source. I do that with either the AEL button or all manual exposure settings. Then I take a series of test images at the given exposure settings. Examining the frames, I look for luminance variations or banding. If the luminance varies from frame to frame, I activate anti-flicker shooting. And if luminance banding is in the frames, I also activate anti-flicker shooting, but I additionally fine-tune the shutter speeds. Adhering to this routine, I always got rid of any problems under artificial light sources. And you will as well. If you want to learn more about the OM System OM-1, I invite you to take a look at my other extensive expert guides on this fantastic camera here on YouTube. Thank you very much for watching. Please consider subscribing and following me on other social media. See you next time.